Today we are making beer beef stew, perfect for the fall time, of course, because it's starting to get cold out. Plus it costs about 20 bucks to make. You can't beat that. Very simple ingredients for the stew recipe too, which is the greatest part of the whole thing. I have some whole carrots here that have been washed. I like cutting up the carrots into some rough chops. I keep the pieces a little bit bigger because it's gonna be stew in a couple hours, right? So this is a two pound sirloin tip roast. A very, very beautiful cut of meat for a stew. I'm gonna cut it into you know, rough cubes, about the same size as those carrots. The whole idea is to make sure that all your ingredients are, you know, relatively the same size. I carefully go through the meat, cutting out some of the silver skin. Getting rid of some of these tougher parts. I don't really like that in my stew, but you could keep them if you want to. That connective tissue just ends up being chewy pieces in the stew. No good. Clean off that cutting board real quick. No cross-contamination allowed. The ingredients are incredibly simple for this one. You got potatoes, you got the stew meat that has been cut up into the cubes, carrots, onions, beef stock, and seasonal beer. The Dutch oven is heated up on high heat. You want this thing to be incredibly hot. I want a beautiful sear on that meat. In the Dutch oven goes two tablespoons of oil. Patting the meat dry will help you achieve a beautiful sear. We're gonna do this in batches because I don't want to reduce the temperature of that pan too much. I want a nice sear on the meat. I should add that it is room temperature meat that I'm starting off with. Hit it with a nice heavy pinch of kosher salt. Of course, freshly cracked black pepper. I stir the meat occasionally. This is really only after 45 seconds or so. You can see that the meat is starting to caramelize rather, rather nicely. Now we're gonna remove that first batch of meat from the Dutch oven. We're gonna get ready for the second batch by hitting the Dutch oven with one tablespoon of oil, the rest of that meat. Of course, season this with a nice heavy pinch of kosher salt and of course some black pepper. And, you know, sear it once again for a minute and a half to two minutes, getting a beautiful, nice caramelization on the outside of that beef. Caramelization equals flavor, of course. Now we want to add that first batch of meat back to the Dutch oven. Now we have our seasonal beer. You know, use whatever kind of beer that you'd like to drink. Of course, it's absolutely fine. I like using the seasonal beer because it's, well, it's fall time and it adds to the fall time vibe that I'm going for in this stew. So take a beer and deglaze the bottom of that pan. And scraping up all those brown good bits on the bottom of that pot. This is gonna take three beers. What kind of beer to use kind of all depends on you and what your taste is, but I really enjoy these seasonal beers that you could buy from Samuel Adams. Yellow pearl onions have such a beautiful sweet flavor to them that really complement this seasonal beer just beautifully. Root end gets cut off and remove that outer papery layer. Six pearl onions that we're gonna drop in. We have those spuds that are gonna go in next. I throw on the fresh thyme, those chopped carrots. I know how the heat cranked up as high as it'll go. We now need to bring this liquid up to a boil. I'll wait for the foaming to go down before I see how much beef stock I actually need to put into it. And I'm gonna pour in about two cups worth of beef stock. You really want to cover these ingredients because it's kind of stew for about three and a half hours and you don't want to end up, you know, running out of liquid. Now, if you want smaller pieces of potato, of course you can cut those in half. I love making stews in the fall time. You know, you're kind of at home because it's too cold to go and do anything outside. Your house is smelling absolutely phenomenal from the stew going for three and a half hours. I just, I love every aspect of it. Super excited for dinner time. I love it. Man, that smells so good. I'm gonna add just a pinch more salt. Not too much though, because the liquid is gonna reduce a little bit and it'll become saltier as it reduces. I just use a store-bought, just low sodium beef stock. That's all that was. Normally I like to add garlic to this too, but I forgot to buy it at the store and I'm not going back. Mmm. I love cooking with beer too because it gives your stew such a rich and just deep developed flavor. Much like a wine would, but it gives it a little bit of a, you know, a hoppiness to it, if that makes sense. So now that it's boiling, kill that heat. Put your lid on it. 
So chuck that in the preheated oven, 325 degrees. So let that rip for three, three and a half hours. That meat's gonna be super, super tender. Those potatoes and carrots are gonna be cooked all the way through and you're gonna have the most flavorful beef stew of your life. You're gonna absolutely love it. Pull it from the oven about halfway through. I like to check that meat to make sure that it's to do what I want it to do, which is get super tender. It's gonna have a lot more resistance to it than what we're looking for at the very end. After that three, three and a half hour mark, this meat's gonna be super, super tender. It's gonna completely just be able to shred apart super easily. I don't know what else is there to say. I mean, put it in your favorite bowl, sit down at the dinner table with your family and have a good time. Serve it with a side of crusty bread. Enjoy this beef stew recipe, you're gonna love it. So if you're looking for another fantastic dinner idea, click that video right there. Very basic, very classic cheeseburger. It's honestly one of my favorites, all right? You are going to love it, and I will see you there.